there's that. Okay. Buckle up because this is a doozy. This one's a doozy. Natalia and the Bella oh. Twins versus the friggin' Riot Squad. Oh, it makes and me so sad. I just got to show this one video, and this, this sums it all up right here. Uh. Boom, boom. Look at that. Uh. Not only did she catch. Okay, so Brie Bella basically. Oops, sorry. Did it again. Brie Bella is just freaking was doing the yes kicks. No. And not only did she catch Liv Morgan on the face uh. once, she caught her right in the chin. Then she kicked, the, so Liv Morgan got caught in the chin, went like this, and then she kicked her flush in the forehead, knocked her out cold. Liv Morgan was out cold her in the ring. Her face was like, she was oh, gone. Out of it. Out in space. Out of it. And then, Brie, so Brie was trying to actually power her up. This girl was down like a sack of potatoes, couldn't move. Brie fell under the dead weight of Liv Morgan. She couldn't lift her up. <sighs> This was a really scary moment on Monday Night Raw tonight. Um, Honestly, you know I love the Bellas, and you know I love Brie. I love her, love her, love her, love her, love her, but this was just not... She, Something's up with her, and there's... A, on, I have to say, WrestleView comments, this is what the main focus was of the comments. I'll just read a couple of what I can read, because the camera's... Um, Screen's a little far away. But Jeffrey Adam Phillips, man, hate to say it, but Brie really needs to go back home, be a full-time mom, because her comeback has just sucked. And then... Yes, it has. And it then um, has. Krishna M. Brie, with all due respect, please go back to the Performance Center. Um, another... Yeah, hold on, right another here. person. Hold on. Uh, okay, so... yeah, Oh, yeah, Headman. Headman. Brie, uh, Brie is extremely rusty. She was never this bad. They should have her train in NXT. JFJ. And then JFJ, that last yes kick from Brie looked like a knee that lived right in the that right in the forehead. I mean, this is like this is dominating the comment section. Honestly, yeah. it's she so reckless. Is just and then um, yeah, Brie is so out of shape. You know, she can't even get She's her leg a, high enough. No, yeah. but out of shape meaning like her no, stamina. I know. I know. Yeah, high enough to um, get her leg. It's you know what? It, uh, like it's one thing. Okay, so we, we talked about her match with the Riot Squad. Was it, I guess it's the Riot Squad, right? Yeah. Uh, two weeks Riot ago yeah. where Brie almost killed herself doing a suicide, suicide dive, dive twice. Yeah. That's fine. You want to come back and be reckless and try to do flashy moves when you're not ready for them and, you don't know, you, and you're not just getting good jumps and you're not practiced. You want to go kill yourself on a suicide dive? Be my guest. But the minute you start coming in there, and injuring your opponent, you know, not really opponent. This is somebody that you plan to match with. They're putting their well-being and their livelihood in your hands, trusting that you can throw a worked kick and not hit them in the face, let alone twice. If you can't do that, no. You have no business no. being in the ring. No. Okay? And it's She's got to reevaluate Look, everything. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. Of course. When, when Seth Rollins kneed John Cena in the face, I thought Bret Hart was very unfair to Seth Rollins, saying that Seth Rollins is a dangerous worker and, you know, uh, like all that crap that uh, he was absolutely. saying about him. Bret Hart, Bret Hart is, is such a curmudgeon sometimes. But this was. This one, th this is like, you want to kill yourself? Totally fine. Don't hurt your but, opponent but because you're trying to be But that's what I'm saying. Here's cute. the problem. Here's the real crux of the issue here. That it's not just like, you know, she was back and she was doing really really well and you know, she's been having a good she's having good stamina in the ring. She's consistently been just like having a good move set, but she's been having this ring rust for weeks now since her return. And it's only getting worse and it's like you know, if, if if this was like the one time that she really messed up, not saying it's 100% forgivable, but it's at least a little bit like, okay, like she did a little too much. Yeah, she hurt stuff her opponent. Happens. Stuff, stuff happens. happens. But the fact that she's, it's it's been every week and especially on Raw.